What's going on, y'all? Let's figure out five to ten. I am here to get the zodiac sign Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Their seven day zodiac forecast. Okay, if this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, hello. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate all of the subs, the likes, the shares. If you are looking for a personal reading, please check the description box below. You will find my Etsy link and it will lead you to my listings where I have various readings. So with that being said, this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th for the Zodiac sign Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Starting off the week, moving and shaking. All right, Capricorn. Okay, so for Monday, we have movement, choices, and decisions. Okay? Movement, choices, and decisions. I feel like there's some, there's some changes. That you're trying to make or you're um you're figuring out oh knight of cups hmm. let's see oh wow yeah, four of wands with the knight of cups are you trying to figure out if you should um approach someone in regards to a union Movement choices and decisions. I feel like you're trying to decide if you want to make a, a love offering or to court someone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Communication. Mm. All right. So Tuesday, we have foundation and achievements. This is also the four of wands. Oh. Eight of cups, though. Hmm. Deciding to walk away from this instead. Oh, hmm. well, I feel like this is like an executive decision <laughs> because Monday here it is. You are contemplating on um, either making a suggestion or going towards someone, possibly courting someone with um, maybe asking them out and. I feel like you're you're wanting to make communication. You're wanting to make action going towards them. But however, Tuesday with the foundation and achievements, and then you have eight of cups. It's like you're walking away. You're retreating all of a sudden. And then with the emperor upright, and then you have the five of wands. It's like I feel like this is an executive decision on on your behalf. Like I I feel like instead of focusing on love you like you know what i need to focus more so building a more solid foundation before you can actually dive into your emotions okay wednesday you have suffering in silence to take action or like I said this could be either you or this could be um the how this person is feeling towards you it's like Monday you want to communicate you want to court someone you want to possibly maybe offer them you know like to go out on a date however Tuesday I feel like you come to a more executive decision and you're just like you know what I'm gonna put this on the back burner for now and I need to focus on um building and building my empire first. So you're walking away from 
you're, you're walking away from this um, this uh, this person that you were thinking of and it's like you're not even gonna put up a fight you're not gonna put up a fight you're just gonna walk away now however Wednesday suffering in silence and then you have the um, the chariot in reverse it's it's like you you don't you you kind of you want this but you're choosing not to not to go forward okay you, you, you're choosing not to go forward and but yet you want this Capricorn why are you doing this to yourself let's see yeah, you're definitely going back and forth about this, back and forth. Because now here we have, let me see what we have Thursday, partnerships and alliances. Partnerships and alliances. You want to come together with this person. Oh, but you don't trust them. You're moving based off of fear. This scares you. That's what it is. It's like you're, you're trying to, you're trying to, um, yeah, you're trying to avoid this person. And you're, you're trying with the two of wands in reverse. You're not, you're not even trying to like look their way. Like you're, you're really, you're, you're moving, you're moving in the opposite direction of, of, of this person. So it, it's like you, and it's crazy because you see the partnership and alliance here and you see how these two are holding, you know, holding each other. They're holding each other's hands, but you're, you're moving away from this. Friday, you have fulfillment and wishes. Having an, you have an awakening come Friday. It's like you're you're you're, you're real you're realizing you're you're realizing what um I feel like okay what this is what this is feeling like Capricorn is that on Friday you you you're you're realizing um you're you're realizing how can I put it? You're having an awakening in regards to um, like your fears, okay? Your fulfillment, your fulfillment wishes, fulfillment of wishes is that you want to start a new beginning with this person. You really do. That's what you want to do. You want to have a new beginning. You want to have you want to have a new passion and beginning, and you want to go towards this person. But it's it's like you're, you're blocking your own self, okay? Now we have the moon card in reverse. This is this is you. Um, this is saying like Friday. You have to really you you have to really get in tune with these emotions that you that you feel. You have to um, learn how to honor these things. It's like it's not a bad thing that you like this person. You know, I, I just feel like you're you're more so you're. You're moving, you're moving away based off of fear, okay? So it's like, you're moving based off of fear, Capricorn. Like, I, I feel like you have such a jaded outlook when it comes to, like, relationships and, and love. Like, probably due to past, like, disappointments, okay? So it, it's like you want it, but... You have to you you have to start um, actually doing this shadow work, okay? And I feel like Friday, you you start to inch towards that awakening, towards towards um, actually mustering up to dive deep into why you are like this, okay? So Saturday we have third eye chakra. This is I feel like you. And then, but then you have the the death card in reverse. It's like 
you want to change, but then it's just like you're not trying to make the efforts. It's like you're you you're too you're too busy um, worrying about what what can go wrong instead of actually listening to your higher self because it's, it's like i feel like you're getting your i feel like your gut is telling you or like your higher self is telling you like look give this a shot this can actually be something that can um can be a beautiful thing sunday we have shadow okay this i feel like this is you this is this is this is like your higher self talking to your um talking to your dark side like yo like there's light at the end of the tunnel like not everybody it's time to free yourself of these pessimistic pes um pessimistic thoughts okay so with the um with your with your final message is the auricular priestess okay a regular priestess divine messages you have a direct connection to the divine be open to receiving these messages so you're getting i feel like you're seeing synchronicities or you're you're being nudged but it's like you're ignoring it because you have a, such a pessimistic mind frame when it comes to that it's like monday you want to take action but then you're not and you you feel like you you and this person can actually partner up signs that i'm getting is um aries cancer um pisces scorpio libra uh sagittarius um i don't know if i said scorpio but yeah definitely a lot of water here water and fire okay so look at this and then listen come on come on capricorn it, it's time to, it's time to to get out to get out those fears and it, it's time to really start awakening to the beauty of what this connection can be especially if this person is is showing you and I, I feel like this is, you know, this is probably like one of those like, oh, I already been here before, I felt this before, and I already know how it's going to turn out. No, seeing at the bottom of the deck, look at that, trapped in fear. Okay, don't let, don't, don't let fear be the tool that the devil uses against you. Okay, Capricorn? So, face your fears, do your shadow work, and go ahead. It's only a failure if you don't try. Okay? You're smart enough to know. You know better and you know how to do better. You know what I'm saying? So, love and light. Hope this helps.